Oh, all free. Oh. How calm. Which is ironic because there's hundreds of people. Hundreds. Well, not compared to normal entrance, I guess. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's Monday. It's our last day. We're going home. The stick is back. <laughs> the stick is back. Yeah, all this walking. <laughs> yeah, all this walking is affected. David's ongoing leg and ankle issues. So we're going to take it easy today. Yeah. Uh, we're here for extra magic hours. We're going to try crush and ratatouille. We'll see what happens. Good morning, empty park. The difference between Paris <laughs> and American parks is everyone is running. None of this. Please don't run. It's dangerous. They are all. To be fair, there's no cast members inside. <laughs> There are no cast members. It's a free for all. Crush is going to be cray cray. Yeah, so this is an eye opener. The longest queue of the day. I guess we're going to go straight through. And then the entrance is over there. Bonjour. minute queue and then it was like two minutes of oh my god what am I gonna do oh 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 you can you can see the whole track in there <laughs> which is good because you can <laughs> I quite like, rather not know I quite like knowing which way I was going it, so it's an indoor coaster for those who don't know uh, and it goes you know, in your the, the car you're in spins 360 degrees uh, and it's quite intense because it goes up and down and round and round and uh, yeah it reminds really me intense. it reminded me of the broomstick ride Oh, Except no. I didn't vomit. It, I was expecting like more projections and like a nice little privacy. <laughs> really isn't. <laughs> Maybe there was. I just think you cut it all out in your head. <laughs> you switched off in your head. It was, um, yeah. Ooh. So as I said earlier, it's our last day. Uh, David's ankle, which if you've seen from the Florida vlogs, uh, he damaged it three days before he went away, and that was about two months ago, so it's still playing up, so I'm not sure what we're going to get done today. Hello. Where did you go to? I was filming uh, Michelle's speeding oh. around. I filmed it, so I'm going to give it a good scream as I came out. It was good timing. How was your Fanta? Oh, it's lovely. Lovely Bre Fanta. Breakfast Fanta. Breakfast Fanta, a bit sugar. Let's go. We're going to probably have lunch around Val de Europe for the hotel, you were saying. I think it might be worth considering having it there rather than going to a Disney park and having nuggets. Yeah, but we do love a chicken nugget. Next man. Uh, yeah, let's go finish a bit of shopping and uh, get on that shoot you. So we're just leaving Hollywood Studios. It's really foggy today. It is. It's not a sunny day by any stretch and it's quite chilly. Chilly for shorts, isn't it, David? A bit chilly for shorts. Uh, so we're heading back to the train station to take the one stop back to Val d'Europe. <laughs> Behind us is the Val d'Europe train station. It is the uh, Centre Commercial entrance. There's two entrances, one which is the hospital, one which is the commercial centre. You come out the front and then you turn left. And then down there, in about a two minute walk, is the hotel where we're staying, which is the Relay Spa. So it's 10.06 and we'll walk up and show you how far it is up the road. So it's now 10.08 and we have got to the hotel. Well, the junction the hotel's on. So it's pretty quick. It's very quick. Uh, I'm just gonna show you where we walk from. So the train station is just here, just there. So we've literally walked up the road, two minute walk, get to the junction where Brasserie Flow is. Brasserie Flow and our hotel entrance is just here where David is now. So that's the Relay Spa and Val d'Europe. It's really quick to get to the park. It's one stop on the train. Uh, and yeah, two, two and a half, three minute walk from the train and the hotel, vice versa. So we've checked out, we're in Brasserie Flow, which is the restaurant in the hotel. Um, 
there's no one else here. It's 12 o'clock on the dot and we are hungry. So I think we'll be having steak and chips. We've got an English menu, obviously we've got steak and chips. Although I'm tempted to have, they got a salmon en croute down here somewhere. So we've got steak and chips and alcohol and that's lunch. So I mean, Ian's French is actually quite good. Some, some of it's quite good. Some of it's a bit Del Boy. I think I may have ordered David a whiskey with lots of ice cream. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to turn up. But you don't, you don't learn ordering whiskey in school. It's not something they teach you. Well, no, but ice is an easy one. <laughs> it's easier than whiskey. The restaurant is... It's heaving, as, as Ian suggested, yes. I've got high hopes. It's a steak in France with chips and green beans. It's very posh. It's not. Ian's eating my moo moo spoosh. A what? A moo 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 spoosh. Mm. I couldn't say it better. He's eating his. He needs to eat mine now because I don't think I can eat, eat it. it. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> so we, we ordered one too many drinks. So we've got we we've got a. Grand Bouteille de Saint Balicuno. We oui. and then we've got a bowl of ice. Not the ice cream, which is good. And we've got a whiskey. We've got a steak knife. Let's see. We've got a Coca Cola. We've got Ian. And this is a Kia. Yeah, well, well, isn't it? yeah with blackcurrant. Sorry, I also forgot the other drink, which is Ian's margarita. And he's got panda pop straws in it. So lunch has arrived and Ian's currently uh Well oh, David I've got your rare one. Do you, want, do you wanna keep it or do you wanna swap? No, I think. Uh we've got some extra chips or french fries or fritz. Uh, there's mine, we've got some bread, loads of drinks still. Ian is over there. Woo, give us a wave Ian. Cheers mate. The chips were lovely, the green beans were lovely. David loved his steak, didn't you? We. Oui. Uh, mine was okay. I had David's by mistake. David had a blue steak, uh, so it took a lot of chopping up. But it was nice. Uh, the gravy, or the jus, was delicious. Red wine. Red wine jus. And uh, now we're waiting for dessert. David's got a trio of sorbet, and I have got uh, a trio of coffee ice cream. How's the ice cream? I don't know yet, you give me all your cream from your sorbet. So, obviously I can't have dairy, so I ordered sorbet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that sound was not a cat being strangled, that's the door. It sounds like a cat. It's the best sound ever. So my sorbet came with um, cream. with cream on top. So I just dished it all into uh, Ian's. So I'm now going to try with sorbet. So we've just left the Relais Spa Hotel in Val d'Europe. There's a lot of construction going on over there. Over there. So we're in Brasserie Flow. We both very had, nice. Yeah, both had steak and chips. David had sorbet with ice cream. No, sorbet with cream. <laughs> <laughs> I had ice cream and cream. Mostly David's cream. So it's about half past one on Monday afternoon. We are heading to the Is station there? for the last time. Yeah. So I was doing some research on Fisher's Coaster. So yeah. I wanted to know like why is it the only one in the world? Um, but I did find the answer to that. But someone fell out the seat and it's early. What? Yep. So when it was first opened within a few years. But someone, how can you? Because it pushes you in. I don't know, it slipped out and serious head injuries. Wow. Yeah. So there's a bit of research to do later on Google. Bet that didn't come out in the photo. A bit drizzly now. So we are in the park with our bags. We're going to drop them off at the left luggage place, which is right around by guest services on the right hand side of the entrance. So we've just checked our bags here, the bag drop off for guest services. And apparently if you're an annual pass holder, you get to, three, get to drop off three bags a day for free. So that's better than going to the uh, station and dropping you off. We did not know that, so yeah. Guest storage in the park, it's free if you have an annual pass. Bonjour. 
Oh, it's very pretty. Even in the rain, decorations look amazing. That ghost is still doing its ghostly thing. Our plan is to do one side of the shops going up Main Street, go to the castle, go check out inside the castle, the Christmas shop. Ooh. We love a Christmas shop. Ooh, doesn't it? Um, and then maybe head over to Discoveryland to do some Star Wars shopping, and then back down the other side. Sounds good to me. And then maybe a drinky winky in the uh, bar. That was drinky winky. Uh -huh. So we've done the shops on the right hand side. Yeah. And we're now going to have a wander up to Castle. Because in Castle, what is there? Christmas shop. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hello, Main Street reverse. Oh, hello, Seagull. I know it's a bit drizzly today, but you can also tell it's not a weekend. Oh, yeah. You can, there's a distinct oh, emptiness. There's a distinct emptiness in the park on a weekday compared to a weekend. But yeah, there's a Mickey over there. Can you see? Are we going to go and investigate Mickey on stage? I'm not quite sure why he's on stage. Might be filming a little Christmas special. Or it's for his birthday. Or none of the above. Oh, he's on, oh, he's on the not grassy knoll. Maybe Mickey shot JFK. <laughs> I didn't even get that. <laughs> That's because you're a child. <laughs> Mickey. All those hours in Mickey score now uh, paying off. So we are still none the wiser why Mickey was on the grass, you know. <laughs> Mickey's like just hanging out by the castle with all of his like posse. <laughs> I'm quite sure what that was. Like, I mean, he's definitely getting paparazzi. Look, look at these people. They're, they're going mad for a bit of Mickey. Should we walk through the castle? Yes, please. Look at a Christmas shop. Yes, please. Quite cold, isn't it? It is chill. Oh, we're not going up there today with your leg, but we are going in the shop of the chateau, which has got Christmas stuff. A bar for now. There's a Land Park Hotel. See you real soon. So that's our trip. Yes, we are now heading back to the train. It was a super duper quick weekend. 50 hours in Disneyland Paris. Um, we've had an awesome time. It's been great weather until today. We had great food, uh -huh. including we drank, today. We drank quite a lot today, drank. eating quite a lot, but yeah. um, it's been a super day. So thank you for coming along. If you're still watching, that's great. Why not subscribe, find out what we're doing next. And if you like this, please like the video down below. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on our next trip, which will be coming very soon. Real soon.